So today I thought I would uh, tell you how to get an Epic Store refund because I had to do it. And it's not as straightforward as Steam. Um, it's not too bad. They do refund you pretty quickly, but you have to know what you're doing. Um, otherwise, you will struggle. So on Steam, it's really simple. All you do is go to help, uh, Steam support, and then just say, I want a refund. And this is, I bought this recently, and I it's not what I expected. I'd like to request a refund, and it's as simple as that. You click that button, and then give your reason below, and that's it. You've got your money back. On the Epic Store, it's not as simple. There's no easy way to actually get a refund. Um, there is, if you go to your library, you can get to the Epic Store from down here, but you still have to go to the web page. Uh, so I'll show you. Uh, once you go to the Epic Store, so epicgames.com, you'll click on help. And then you've got a choice between Fortnite, Epic Games Store, and other ones. So you want the Epic Games Store. And basically, you can read. So we will read it. We will read a little bit, bit of it. Um, store policy. What types of products can I return for a refund? Uh, when are products eligible for a refund? So this is important. It's within 14 days of purchase. For any reason, it's fine. But you must not have played the game for more than two hours. But that doesn't mean just play. That means run the game. So if you walked off from it and left it on pause for more than two hours, you know, you can't get a refund. So how can I request a refund? You can click on that. It will then take you to here and tell you everything you need to do. Um, but yeah, so you go to the contact us. At the moment, I'll just uh, say, so the game, let's say it was Alan Wake. Best of indie gaming at some email. I'm sure it exists. Dot com. Platform. Uh, PC in this case. Uh, and describe your problem here. So here you would say, um, I something like I would like a refund on the game as it was not what I expected. So it's as simple as that. Now this is the important bit. So you basically said I would like a refund on the game as it's not what I expected. Now what they're going to do is they're going to come back and say okay that's fine please supply us with your invoice for the game that's literally what they'll say so they will say it so you may as well say my invoice number for the game is and that would be in an email that was sent to you that looks something similar like this so i've just copied this off my email um and this is basically what it would look like this would be you know Thank you for your order, blah, 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 invoice ID. This is what you need. So you need this ID. You can ignore everything else. So you're just going to copy this and pop it in the email you're sending. Invoice number for the game is that. And that's done. And then you just hit the submit button. And then it should send you an email. I'm going to hit the submit button anyway. It's just a waste of time. But it'll you get these four dots coming. And then you'll get a little thing in the bottom right. Your ticket has been submitted. Please check your email for further instructions. And that is it. That's what you do. Sorry, Epic, for sending that through. But, yep, that's how you do it. So that's how you claim your refund on Epic. And it should be straightforward. And you should get a refund. I think I got mine within actually quite quick within like an hour and a half so pretty quick pretty good and they don't ask any more questions so i hope that helped if it did please hit that like button and subscribe